for your real estate profession as a business, when you are hired for a job, they expect you to work nine to five. So why aren't you doing that right now? You are con in control of your destiny. If you didn't perform at a job, you would definitely get fired. So I am challenging you to assess your situation. See if you are putting in the nine to five plus required work. And if you're not, fire yourself. Literally start over and get things right. When you decided to pivot and start a real estate career, you should have created a business plan. And if you didn't, honestly, that was the first mistake. We've talked about the, the plans and the opportunities and the different strategies. Now that plan can evolve and change as you grow and learn, but you must have a plan. You don't want to be caught behind the eight ball doing something that worked five years ago and things constantly change. So I'm not saying that that is set in stone, but make a plan. The plan should be an outline of what your day looks like today. It should be of what your plan looks like on a monthly basis, on a yearly basis. It can extrapolate five, 10 years. I had a goal that was sort of in the back of my head when I was doing real estate. I saw the top producer list come out and I was like, I definitely want to be on the top of that list. And I had to figure out a way to get there. And that was my motivation. And from there, I just put my work ethic into place and just kept pushing, kept grinding. I have talked about the numerous ways to create a successful real estate business, connecting with your sphere, cold calling, cancel it expires, door knocking, neighborhood, farming, postcards, events. I don't care what you're doing, social media, get out there and do it. I've been reading and researching agent success stories from the beginning of my career. And the 30 for 30 just came out and I read a few snippets of the people that were from Chicago, these two girls, social media people that didn't intend on being in real estate, but started a, a, a YouTube channel and it just exploded. And uh, they started in rentals and moved into sales. The stories are awesome. They're fascinating, they're inspiring, they're unique they've almost all culminated from one of the five business plans that i've mentioned and to me it's inspiring to watch those people and learn from them but the majority of them literally just put on their grinding cap and go to work every single day and do what they're good at and they pick a discipline and they're consistent with it and consistency is key we have an amazing tra training platform on our campus, soon to be an updated Mark Allen Realty campus that you guys are going to love. If you've looked at real estate brokers as an, if, so honestly, wait till you see this new platform that we're, we're going to present to you guys in the next couple of weeks. It's going to blow your mind. It's going to be super intuitive and give you guys a great roadmap into our training, all the communication between brokers. We love what we're giving to you guys, but you've got to put in the work. If I looked at real estate brokers as employees, meaning you guys were on a salary and I paid you to perform, if I then analyzed their everyday practice, I would probably fire 95% of them, seriously. You have to analyze yourself, hold yourself accountable, stop making excuses. If you're not putting forth the effort that it takes to succeed, you're not gonna get the results. Now, I am super proud when speaking with a lot of the brokers in our office and in the industry in general, that have a plan and that stick to it and their calendars are full of time blocking and appointments making the most of their day and they're definitely seeing results set up your day get comfortable with routine routine builds confidence confidence translates to success i want to see i love watching people succeed i mean i love train wrecks too i mean that's entertaining in and of itself but i love watching people succeed and i'm always here and happy to help guide the ship and i'm 100 percent confident that you can accomplish anything you set your mind to but you have to have a plan. So that is the moral of the story. I am gonna be reaching out and I have been reaching out to all of you guys. So expect to hear from me in the next uh, week or so. Thanks for joining and have a great day. Thank you.